Hi, I am Jonathan Netzer, Tabor's Product Marketing Manager, and welcome to Tabor's Product Video Tutorial. Today we will introduce the Wave Exciter Arbitrary Waveform Generator. We will have a look at its functionality and front and rear panels. The Wave Exciter series models come in either a single, dual, or four channel versions, all in the same compact, small footprint benchtop box. It is 2U high and 3 quarter 19 inch wide with a 4 inch LCD color display. On the front panel are the differential channel outputs, channel 1 and channel 2, sync out, trigger in, and the USB host for saving and loading waveforms and setups. The front panel controls and keys are grouped in a logical order to provide for efficient and quick access to instrument functions and parameters. This is the power switch to turn the instrument on or off. Here we have the menu soft key buttons for selecting the corresponding on-screen parameter adjacent to them. The top button is for selecting the root menu when relevant. Here is a numeric keypad for editing parameter values, a dial and cursor keys for editing parameters or for scrolling through menus when the double arrows icon is displayed. When using a multi-channel instrument, make sure that you are programming the required channel. Use the program channel button for selecting which channel to modify. The on-off buttons provide a quick shortcut to turn the selected channel output on or off. When working in trigger run mode, you can use the manual trigger button to manually trigger the unit. The escape button is used for cancelling an edit operation or for restoring front panel control when the unit is remotely locked out. Press the enter button to set the parameters and values. On the right side of the front panel we have the function menu keys. These select one of five function modes, standard, arbitrary, sequence, modulation and pulse. These are the control menu keys. These select control menus that program the instrument operation. These are run mode, store recall, utility, markers, and output. In the utility section, you can obtain the system information, including firmware version, calibration date, and installed options. From here, you can also set the screen brightness, and select whether on startup the unit will come to a default state or to the last saved setting before the instrument was turned off. To restore factory default settings, press the factory reset menu button. Looking on the rear panel of the unit, the input and output connectors of the WX instrument include external sample clock in, digital outputs when the digital output option is installed, segment sequence control for fast transition between segments or in sequences, marker outputs, multi-instrument synchronization for when connecting two instruments together, event in and reference in inputs, and GPIB, LAN, and USB interface. Thank you for joining me on this video tutorial and be sure to visit our YouTube channel for more product video tutorials. Tabor Electronics, a high-end world-leading signal source company.